Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Z Bakeries where I show you how to create beautiful decorated cakes and cupcakes. So I'm going to get started right into it. So I'm, I have some chocolate cupcakes and I have some piping bags that I've already filled and added the piping tips and I'm just going to show you each one in detail. So I got this beautiful green shade with Chef Master's green and brown gel food coloring. And over here I have an open round tip which is a tip number 12 by Wilton. The second piping tip that I'm showing you, I've actually colored this a nice white gel food coloring to my buttercream and I've actually used the Wilton tip number 81 and you can see it has a little bit of a U shape. That's the pi piping tip you want to use. The third piping tip is um, I got this beautiful dark blue shade using Chef Master's blue gel food coloring and the tip that I'm actually using is a Wilton tip number 2D so you can see it kind of has a shape of a flower and um, this is a Wilton tip 2D. The fifth piping tip that I'm showing you is this beautiful pink shade and I actually got this beautiful shade using Chef Master's pink gel food coloring with a little bit of peach and you can see it's a Wilton tip number 103 so it has a narrow end and a little bit of a wider end. So and lastly the um, last color that I got was this beautiful fuchsia shade using the fuchsia gel food coloring and a little bit of pink and peach and you can see it also has a narrow tip on the top and a broad tip um, at the bottom and this is a Wilton tip number 104 and I've actually added a coupler on four of the piping tips um, piping bags except for the dark blue um, and that's so we can actually switch around the different colors so over here I also have some extra piping tips this is a Wilton 366 which is a leaf tip as well as a Wilton tip number three and a Wilton tip number two which are both round tips as well as a tip number 67 which is a leaf tip and a Wilton tip number 102 which is a small rose petal tip. So we're going to start off by taking our chocolate cupcake and our Wilton tip number 2D with the dark blue shade and we're going to add pressure in the center of the cupcake, go counterclockwise and once you reach the end where you started you want to release. So this is actually the very basic rosette cupcake design. I'm actually going to keep getting more and more advanced as I show you different roses and flowers to pipe on your cupcake but this is a super simple and basic one where you add pressure in the center, go counterclockwise and release. Now to make the hydrangeas you want to take that same piping tip add pressure and then lift you want to keep doing that same method of adding pressure and lifting up while you are going all the way all the way around your cupcake so you can see this gives a very nice beautiful hydrangeas look to your cupcake it's super simple now you're going to follow that same method of filling in the center of your cupcake at this point you could actually leave it or you could have also done a two-toned um, hydrangeas cupcake as well but what I'm actually going to do is take that tip number 81 that was on the white buttercream and that's why I mentioned that couplers are really important I'm just taking the Wilton tip number three and I'm just going to place it on top so you can see how easy it is to have these couplers you can actually switch your piping tips to choose different colors so definitely keep that in mind so now I'm just going to fill in the center of where the hydrangeas um, actually created a little um, inward dot so I'm just going to fill that up with these little dots just so it looks like um, a nice beautiful bouquet if you want, you can completely add sprinkles instead, or if you want, you could have actually created a two-tone hydrangeas flower as well. Now moving on to the next uh, cupcake design, I'm actually going to be creating a zinnia. So over here, I have the Wilton tip number 103, and I'm going to create this kind of this upward motion, then pull down. You want to create these small little motions, um, creating these small little petals, and you want to keep following that same technique of holding on an angle and kind of pulling inwards. You're going to create small little petals going all the way around your cupcake. Cake. So you want to make sure that you just keep a consistent hand while you keep turning your cupcake and you can see I'm kind of holding my um, piping tip at an angle. You want to do that so you actually um, are creating your petals a little bit at an angle. Once you've went all the way around, now you want to overlap halfway on your previous petals and you want to keep following that same motion of applying pressure and then going down. So you want to just keep doing that and I'm actually creating these small little petals um, and that's because I'm actually using a smaller piping tip. If you used a larger piping tip like a tip number 104, you would actually get larger petals. So you just will start to notice that because you are overlapping your piping tip will actually start to angle upwards more at like a 45 degree angles so as you get closer to the center so at this point you could go all the way to the center but I'm actually going to fill the center with some white buttercream it doesn't matter what color you do it's completely your choice and you don't want to stress out just have fun with the process so I'm actually just going to take that tip number 12 that was on the green piping bag and I'm just going to place this on top of my white piping bag and I'm actually just going to fill in the center of this zinnia so you just want to hold your piping bag straight add a little 
bit of pressure and then um, release and at this point you could leave it like this as well but what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to take this dark pink fuchsia shade and I'm actually going to take that off and I'm actually showing you how important these coupler um, are when you actually go to piping your buttercream flowers because Having couplers on your piping bag actually allows you to constantly keep switching up your colors and creating multiple different designs without having to fill up multiple different piping bags. So you definitely want to keep this tip in mind. So you can see what I'm doing is taking the Wilton tip number three, I'm kind of applying pressure and then lifting up and I did this all around the sides in the center of the cupcake. And now you can see wherever there is that remaining white buttercream, you're actually going to fill all of that with the same method. And once the entire um, center is filled, now I'm going to show you the next cupcake. So now I'm actually going to show you how to create a rose. So I'm actually taking a Wilton tip number 104 and you can see in the center I've created kind of like this triangle dome and this is actually going to give us height to our rose. So you want to make sure your piping tip, the narrow side is facing up and the wide side is facing down and then you want to create a small spiral in the center of your cupcake. Then you want to create small petals. So I like to create three in the center. So I've created one, now I'm going to create the second pe petal and then the third. Now wherever the two um, petals are o overlapping, that's where you're going to make your next petal. So I like to create, um, you know, odd numbers, um, so three, five, seven. Also another thing to keep in mind when you are creating your rose petals is that your piping tip will actually be more straight when you're in the center of your rose. But as you start to create more and more rose petals, you'll start to notice that your piping uh, tip should actually start to angle a little bit more, just like a real rosette. And that just kind of gives more of a realistic rose where it starts to be tight in the center and then it starts to open up and bloom on the side. So you can see at this point, my my piping tip has angled a lot more and that's giving me more of an open rose. You're going to follow that same technique by holding it on one side and pulling down. Um, and by the end of it, once you're happy with all of your rose petals, you're going to end up with a beautiful rose that's closed on the inside and it opens up slowly just like a real rosette. Now I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful buttercream chrysanthemum. So you want to hold your piping tip making a U and you want to hold it from the side of your cupcake and lift up. So the edge of your cupcake liner will give you a little bit of support. So you just want to do this nice and slowly holding near the edge of the um, cupcake liner and lifting up. You want to do this all the way around um, your cupcake. And then once you um, complete the edge of your cupcake, then you're going to repeat the same process um, of doing it on the inside overlapping halfway on your previous petal following that same method of holding and lifting up. So I have gotten a lot of requests to share with you guys buttercream floral cupcake design so that is what I'm sharing with you guys. But if there is something in particular, a cupcake design or a cake design you guys would like to see from me, leave that in the comment section down below. I love hearing your suggestions. And if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please do so since I upload a new video each week and hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss out. And back to the video tutorial. So I actually have a video, a full video of how I created this cupcake. So I will actually link that in the eye icon above so you can check that out as well. Now on to the next cupcake. I'm actually using a Wilton tip number 104 um, with that same white buttercream and I'm actually going to be creating an anemone which basically you're going to hold your buttercream at your piping tip at an angle and kind of create this wiggle and kind of like a heart design so you want to hold it in the center your piping bag your piping tip and then kind of create that wiggle motion of a heart shaped and turn your cupcake you want to keep doing that all around the edge of your cupcake and you just want to create that heart design while you are actually moving and turning your cupcake. Once you've done that, you want to create a smaller version um, overlapping your previous petals. So again, holding on an angle and kind of creating a back and forth motion kind of in the shape of a heart. Once you've gone all around, you want to take the Wilton tip number 12 with the green buttercream and fill that in the center. And taking your Wilton tip number three, we're going to create small little dots all the way around the edge of the green buttercream. And this is pretty much going to give you a nice realistic um, effect to your anemone flower so you just want to do this nice and slowly and you can see it ends up with this very nice realistic beautiful elegant um, buttercream flower it's really nice and ruffled and elegant so now on to the next buttercream flower this is going to be a triple rosette flower or a triple bouquet flower so I'm actually going to be creating three of the roses that I've, flowers I've shown you before starting off with the rose and I actually added a tip number 102 to this beautiful pink buttercream and same method you create the spiral in the center and then you create small um, uh, petals in the center and you want to make sure that as you start to um, bloom your rose you actually start to angle out your petals and you just want to do this nice and slowly 
and you want to kind of uh, fill up your cupcake one third of the way so you have room for your other two buttercream flowers so once you're happy with how your rose looks then i'm going to actually take my wilton tip number 81 which i use for the chrysanthemum and create a chrysanthemum um, next to the rose as well so you want to apply pressure and lift so you've created about three and then you're going to kind of keep turning your cupcake and follow that same method of applying pressure and lifting up. You do want to make sure that your buttercream is a little bit more stiff. Otherwise, if your buttercream isn't very firm, it will actually result in your flower, um, your petals kind of just uh, not holding their shape and standing upright. So you want to make sure that your buttercream is nice and firm. So add pressure and lift. And you want to keep adding petals based on how large you want your buttercream chrysanthemum flower to look like. So once you're happy with the amount of flowers and uh, petals and how your uh, flower actually looks like, then what you're going to do is you're going to take your Wilton tip number 2D and we're going to create a rosette. So add pressure and go counterclockwise and release just like I showed you when I created a larger rosette on the entire cupcake. So now I'm going to take um, a little bit of that buttercream of that green shade. I actually put that into a separate piping bag fitted with the Wilton tip number 366, which was the leaf tip. And I'm actually going to fill in the gaps with these leaves. So you want to hold it with the shape of the beak and create this back and forth a wiggle motion while you release so this is actually going to give you that rippled leaf effect so you want to hold it and then kind of move back and forth and kind of release and that's going to give you this beautiful um, floral leaf bouquet so at this point you could just leave it with the leaves but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take that fuchsia buttercream shade and I'm actually going to apply a Wilton tip number uh, 21 which is this small open star tip and I'm just going to add Add that on top of that piping bag and just um, using the coupler tighten that in place and then fill in the bouquet here and there with some of those beautiful fuchsia drop flowers so you don't want to add too many just a couple and it basically just um, adds a little bit more um, buttercream flower designs to your flower bouquet so you don't have to add just um, too many just a few and this is pretty much how you create a beautiful triple floral bouquet with um, the three different types of flowers I showed earlier. So these are all of the different types of flowers that I showed you, starting off with some of the more basic buttercream flowers, and I showed a little bit more of the intermediate with the anemone, and then a little bit more advanced with the rose and the chrysanthemum and the triple bouquet. Also, I am really excited to share with you guys that I have been working really hard on creating some online courses to help solve specific problems you may have with baking or cake decorating or learning different fillings. Um, so if you want to know when I launch those new online courses, definitely go to my website zbakeries.com and sign up to my email list so you know when I launch my new courses. Or check out my website to know what I will be teaching in my online courses. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in my next videos.